Definitely concerned about traffic and congested. Ryan Olipio lives just a block away from where the A's want to build the brand new Howard Terminal Waterfront Ballpark. If it gets built, Sage the Pug better savor these quiet walks while she still can. The trains come by all the time already, um, and I can't imagine traffic with more trains coming by. Today, the city of Oakland released this draft environmental impact report, a roadmap to building the ballpark, as well as a list of problematic environmental issues, including air quality, noise from construction, and traffic congestion. I would not know where they would actually park because <laughs> um, parking here is already terrible. We want people to walk and bike and take transit to the games. And so this report creates requirements. For example, for a bridge over the train tracks for bicyclists and pedestrians, that would have to be constructed as part of this project. A's President Dave Cavill promises this ballpark will have the highest environmental standards of any project in California history. There's not really any showstoppers in the actual analysis to date. At a time when the pandemic has turned Jack London Square into a ghost town, Cavill says this ballpark is the boost of life this neighborhood needs. We were hoping to open by 2023. That's not possible because of the lawsuits we face because of COVID. But we're really trying to understand when that can be because we only have a lease through 2024 at the current Coliseum. But there's a coalition of critics, which includes the Pacific Merchant Shipping Association. Vice President Mike Jacobs says, quote, the current Coliseum site remains the ideal and most logical location for a new ballpark that will make A's fans proud to call home. The city council must still pass the project before it moves forward. In Oakland, Melissa Colorado, NBC Bay Area News.